Case studies are a great way to learn about retirement planning and to see the power of the retirement calculator spreadsheet. We're going to set up the case study. We're going to look at options they've got around repaying the mortgage. We're going to look at where they can save some additional funds, ISA versus SIP. We're going to look at equalizing wealth across Ian and Jane. We're going to look at flexible access drawdown in retirement to take tax-free cash earlier. And basically the overall objective is to lower their tax bill and boost their wealth. So stay tuned. So first up is Ian, he's 53, an accountant. His salary is 50,000 after taxes and pension contribution. He's maybe thinking of taking a sabbatical or a career shift. Jane is 50, she's a lecturer. She earns 34,000 after taxes and pension and she's potentially considering working part-time. Their children have graduated university and there's a potential extra £12,000 a year that they can now save. The finances for Ian and Jane are a mortgage of 60000 ISA of 155000 defined contribution pensions for Ian of 315000 a defined benefit pension for Jane at age 60 of £12,000 a year indexed with inflation and they've got an emergency fund of £30,000. So we put that all together into a pie chart that reflects their wealth and looks at the percentage splits. So with their mortgage, Ian and Jane could let it run as is. They could pay it off early or they could divert the repayment funds into a pension and build up pension assets and use that to ultimately repay the mortgage. I think it comes down to really personal preferences around risk. So where might Ian and Jane invest the extra £12,000? Well, they could put it in an ISA, but they already have enough balance there and there's better alternatives. They could put it into Jane's defined benefit pension as an additional voluntary contribution, but that pension can't be inherited. So that might not be the best solution. They could put it into Ian's workplace pension and then things would be automated. That would be nice and clean. So that's a possibility. Or they could put it into a personal pension for Ian or potentially Jane, as she doesn't currently have a personal pension and she won't really have any taxable income before her defined benefit pension kicks in. So if she retires before 60, having a little personal pension could be quite useful for her. Ian and Jane have looked at this data from the Pension Living Standards Association and they're quite happy with moving through different phases of retirement. So going from two cars initially down to one car, down to no cars at all in their 80s. And they're perfectly happy with just being flexible around different stages of retirement and lowering their expenditure in later years so they can really enjoy themselves in their late 50s. So let's look at some initial numbers for Ian and Jane. I've got them retiring in 2028, age 57 and 54, with retirement expenditure in the first phase, 45,000, dropping down to 40,500 at age 70, and then 36,000 at age 86. I've initially put the surplus cash into an ISA, that's the extra potentially 12,000 they've got from their kids not being at university anymore. But if I change it and put the money into Ian's pension, you'll see the wealth here will rise from 68,000 to 86,000. And that's because there's 25% tax free on the pension. Let's look at their wealth over time. So initially they're working and saving money, building up assets. Then they're retiring and drawing quite heavily on particularly the ISA. Wealth is declining. They've got a mid phase where state pensions kick in and then a final phase where the wealth is largely plateauing out. So this is a fairly decent wealth profile. Then in terms of sources of income, they've got times when they're working, they're pulling money initially from an ISA because it's tax free. They're taking money from Ian's pension and 25% of that is tax free. 
Then we've got some pensions kicking in for Jane and state pensions kicking in as well. And they've got some tax-free cash in their pension when they're 90. So they might want to change going from UF Plus and going to Flexible Access Drawdown to make sure all the tax-free cash is spent. This is the income tax they're paying in retirement. They never pay the 40% tax band. Ian, initially from his SIP, utilizes his personal allowance. But with Jane, because she doesn't have a personal pension, she's retiring and she has nothing to use to utilize the personal allowance. So that's why it's going to be a good idea to set up a personal pension for her so that she can get some income that won't be subject to tax. So now for Jane, we've moved £12,000 into SIP for her. It's been topped up by £3,000 by the government and the combined wealth of Ian and Jane has now risen to £100,000 in today's prices at the age of 90. So here's their wealth with Jane's personal pension reflected in green. And in terms of taxable income, the green line in this chart, we can see now that Jane does have some on initially retiring. So now we're using flexible access drawdown for Ian. And what we're doing is specifying when we want to take some tax-free cash. So upon retiring, he's taking 5,000 pounds initially, then rising to 10,000. And what this is doing is making a more optimal use of this strategic asset for him, such that he's paying lower taxes and more money is staying within his wealth. Now we can see that the wealth at age 90 has risen to 124,000. There's also no tax-free cash at age 90. You can see that the green is now being used up. So we're saving money on taxes earlier and that's allowed to compound within the wealth and that makes Ian and Jane better off. Here's the tax that Ian is paying over time with the green line. And you can see that he's just utilizing his personal allowance for a lot longer. And it's that that's making him better off. So we can contrast Ian and Jane before seeing a financial coach and afterwards. Before they had a fear of running out of money. Now they've got much more clarity over their finances through the graphical analysis. They were looking to utilize the 4% rule and spend the same amount of money every year. But now they understand the stages of retirement and they can have more flexible withdrawals to spend a lot more money earlier in retirement and enjoy themselves. They were going to put any surplus cash into an ISA or Ian's pension. And now they've learned how if they open up a SIP for Jane, that's much more efficient for both of them. They were going to just use UF Plus and take the tax-free cash at the same time as their taxable withdrawals. But now they're going to utilize flexible access drawdown. They're going to take tax-free cash earlier and the lower initial tax bill will enable money to grow within their pension. And as a result of all that, their net wealth is tens of thousands of pounds better off at the age of 90. To learn more about a retirement calculator, go to my website. You might be interested in this video about how much money you might need to retire or YouTube is currently recommending the video on the right.